with 900,000 square feet of built-up space, adequate spaces available all around the building to permit creation of dedicated substations for power, basis for generators, rainwater harvesting, landscapes, diesel tanks and a maze of underground services and cables. The building is a seven-level structure including two base floors that house the utilities and office area. The building's ground and first floor covers the complete area of the building. The ground floor houses 16 generators of 4 megawatt capacity each. A foolproof dry powder anti-fire system ensures any possible fire hazard. In addition, four generators are placed on the setback. Two complete floor plates of 25,000 square feet each are set aside as staging areas for equipment for future build of the data center. A world-class network operations center ensures that the best managed services can be provided to users of the data center for managing their equipment, including servers, routers, firewalls and all equipments. An integrated management system ensures that every equipment in the data center is managed effectively and any problem in any equipment is addressed immediately. Up to 1,500 seats for staff of customers ensures that support is available to them as soon as they need it. The facility has provision for up to 50 meeting rooms. Two large meet-me rooms give enough space to all domestic and global telecom service providers. Through this facility, internet service providers, telecom carriers and business customers can access the internet or carrier data services without any restrictions on the bandwidth. With one cross-connect, the Meet Me Room at Data Center will provide your businesses with access to customers and service providers around the world. Four towers from second floor onwards with five floors each provide 20 separate floor plates of approximately 25,000 square feet to build large data center plates with two halls each. Approximately 30 chillers of almost 500 ton capacity provide all the cooling required for equipment consuming up to 100 megawatt of power. The data center is designed to have 66 kV power from two separate grids. The area in front of the building houses a 66 kV substation. 11 kV feeds are used to transmit power to each of the 20 floor plates where they are converted to 450 volts. There are generators with a capacity of 4 MW each to make power available during short and long intervals of power outages. Three large fuel tanks ensure uninterrupted fuel supply. The data center is designed for up to 14,000 racks. This could entail a total need of up to 100 megawatt. Each rack is supplied power from two different UPS systems to offer source redundancy. Each of the UPS has a 15-minute battery backup in case of power outages. Each set of UPS is supplied power from two different dedicated substations. If one substation fails, the other one comes in action automatically. In addition to this, the facility is backed up by two sets of generators. Fiber optic connectivity is delivered to the building by four separate underground entrances. The data center offers the highest levels of security supported by the latest technologies. A modern fortress surrounded by a concrete stone compound wall of 10 feet height with a further 4 feet high intelligent fence. Any violation triggers an immediate response. With up to 1500 cameras, every nook and corner of the facility is monitored in real time. An advanced image monitoring system ensures that any camera that has movement is monitored. 
every person in the facility is monitored at all times and a playback of anybody's movement from entry to exit from the data center is available. Two separate gates allow for separation of movement of men and materials. The facility is protected by an integrated five-layer physical security. Large number of lockers are provided at the gate to store non-permitted items. Metal detectors, handheld scanners and explosive sniffers ensure that no banned item enters the premises. All bags are scanned through X-ray machines. Once identified with RFID-based ID cards and biometric scanners, all visitors pass through full-height turnstiles to prevent any forced entry. A sophisticated visitor management system ensures that every visitor has a welcome entry and is escorted at all times. Turnstiles allow pass holders permitted by customers to enter their data halls. Visitors are guided through the reception to the executive briefing center. Every person has access restricted to the areas that are permitted by customers in their own cages with RFID access cards and biometric security. In an active data center, movement of material needs to be handled extremely carefully and securely. The west gate is reserved for material entry. As soon as a truck or a vehicle reaches near the data center, its occupants approach security staff with the documents. Thereafter, the vehicle moves to the unloading bay. Customer equipment goes to the equipment unloading bay at the rear of the building where facilities exist to unload packages up to 5 tons each. Equipment is taken by forklifts to the equipment unpacking room. Unpacked equipment is taken to the assembly room where the racks and equipment is assembled. Firewalls and the best security products and applications ensure the highest levels of security of data in the data city. 39 air-cooled, water-based chillers are installed on the roof of the building for cooling purposes. This gives the advantage of using any terminal equipment for precision air conditioners in rack solutions for high power using racks and water cooling for large water cooled servers. This makes the data center truly cloud ready. Large pipes of 2 feet diameter carry water vertically to and from the chillers vertically in every tower. Within each tower, one feet wide pipe are used to deliver water to each floor within every tower. The data center uses numerous technologies to improve the power unit efficiency. Redundancies are built into every aspect of the system to include piping, chillers, precision air conditioning, etc. 
Although the medium of cooling is water, the entire system is foolproof with respect to water leakage. In order to improve the efficiency of the cooling system, the area of the cold aisle is contained so that the cold air does not mix with the hot air in the rest of the room and the entire data center acts as a hot air plenum. Although the temperature of the room rises but the air reaching the servers is cool, thus bringing in more efficiency. A CFD or computational fluid dynamics analysis is done to measure environmental conditions including airflow, temperature, humidity, pressure differentials and other parameters of interest such as power, intrusion detection and equipment failure notification. The data center can be divided into data center area, electrical areas and office space. Data center fire protection is provided by Fire Fighting System, NOVAC, an inert gas that delivers the highest quality of the safety. Smoke and heat detection sensors are installed on ceiling and below raised floor. Integrated fire detection, alarm signaling and extinguishing systems provide a comprehensive safety solution. In keeping with the highest in green standards, the data center works to bring efficiency under every head as required by the LEED standards.